Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel and thanks for logging on. Today we're discussing the IWC Pilot's Watch Chronograph Edition Le Petit Prince. You can see this special edition IWC Pilot's Watch Chronograph and purchase it on our website. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you enjoy these videos and please click on the card in the upper right hand corner of the screen at any time during this video to see our full listing for this watch with accessories included, extra high resolution images and of course full pricing details. Now on my wrist, six and a third inches, 16 centimeters in circumference, you can see that the case lines of this watch recall the much larger big pilot's watch, but in terms of actual fit, it's a step down in size and therefore viable on a much broader ranges of wrists, but also at the same time in more dress ensemble situations. This is a watch that you could wear with a straight face in formal attire, whereas the big pilot, unless you are truly the Hulk, probably can't be worn with any kind of proportion or straight face with formal dress. Now the watch is 43 millimeters across the round of the case, not including the crown, not including the pushers, so 43 across. It's 15 millimeters thick, but with a multiply stepped case and bezel, it's actually viable underneath the cuff of a sport jacket, a blazer, or a loose sweater, just not the toughest of dress sleeves. Now you'll note that from lug to lug, the watch measures 53.5 millimeters, so if you're familiar with the measurements of a standard Panerai Luminor, we're talking about that size, the 44 millimeter standard Betterini case Panerai Luminor. That's how this watch wears, but it has a wonderful ergonomic consideration executed on the part of the designer such that the lugs really do thrust down quite sharply. So they match the curve of the wrist so it's a little bit easier to wear this watch if you're borderline for its case size. The lug shape really helps you there. I would say down to 14 and a half centimeters you can wear this watch with proportion and security. Now the strap is a very traditional aviator style, monstrously cut, very thick calfskin. It has a nice sort of semi patina, acru colored contrasting stitch, dark brown calfskin, dark brown calfskin on the bottom for suplex against the wrist. It has a very simple and traditional IWC pin buckle, thoughtfully designed. You can see it has contrasting satin and polished facets, so even this is not a default design. This is a very well-considered watch from an aesthetic standpoint. You can see that the case doesn't cry out for attention, mostly satin, mostly brushed metal. The only highlight is the small bevel, the polished bevel that runs along the flanks of the lugs and along the belt line of the case. It's a subtle, almost jewel-like addition, and you can see it to good effect in the light from this angle. Very handsome. It's subtlety in a watch that, quite frankly, combines the size of IWC's largest instrument-style pilot's watches with just a little bit more aesthetic nuance than we expect from that line conventionally. And that continues on the handsome dial, which features a sunburst blue metallic base. Now the sunburst is very pronounced, and as you move this watch through light, you can see that it really does play dramatically across the grain of the dial, radiating out from the cannon pinion at center. Now you have beautiful white gold broadsword hands at center, and the counterweighted chronograph seconds hand is not only beautifully elongated almost to the very edge of the seconds track, but it is a stately and extended vintage style that makes it almost a little bit of an anachronism and all the more charming for it. Now the watch is beautifully loomed. All indices, numerals, and hands, with the exception of chronograph seconds, are quite easily discerned in the dark. This watch, almost like a Panerai Luminor, really lights up at night, and that's one of the advantages of the underlying instrument style of the watch. Now, it has a tri-compax chronograph, so hours, minutes, and seconds with constant seconds at 9 o'clock. It also features a double date. Now, this is the style that came out in 2012 and endured in the IWC catalog until the end of 2015. It's the triple date, where you see the succeeding and the preceding date, along with the current date. It does have a double quick set system such that you can rapidly correct both windows should the watch run down or encounter an irregular length month. Now, the chronograph caliber 79320 is inside the case. It's a 25 joule base value 7750, so it has all of the set it and forget it toughness of that base caliber, but with some significant IWC upgrades to the barrel, to the train, to the regulator, and to the balance assembly. IWC really does a lot to make its movements, even those it purchases from ETA, its own from a finishing and engineering standpoint. They are not just in a tablet or even in the case where they use customer calibers. And you'll note the titular character, the Petit Prince himself on his domain, the little meteorite slash mini planet that he rules with roses and volcanoes. You'll also note that the watch features six bar water resistance. So with a screw down crown, although personally I prefer 10 
ATM water resistance for swimming, IWC does advise that 6 ATM is sufficient to take this watch bathing and swimming. I'll also add that it has a feature that I have never availed of in the past, but it's nice to know that should you be engaged in a blowout of an aircraft cabin in which explosive depressurization quickly drops the pressure in the ambient air, the watch does have security of case back, of bezel, sapphire, pushers, and crown seals such that they will not be explosively discharged should you be in a cabin that depressurizes. Every little bit helps. You can see this handsome, practical, and one might even say stylistically versatile IWC Pilots Chronograph Edition Petite Prints on our website.